data to order data without having to repeat customer data in every order. In our next SQL example, we want to know the product description and its total amount ordered for each product Pine Valley Furniture Company has sold. So this time we need data from the product and line item tables. You may also recall that we showed that the included on relationship linked product with line item. And this relationship was implemented in the database by a cross reference. That is, the product ID is stored in each row of the line item table. This product ID cross reference is a foreign key that links each line item row to its associated product. Now we have a general idea what our query will have to do. We want to show or select product description along with a total or sum of all the ordered quantities in line items for each product. And somehow we'll have to tell SQL to sum up the right ordered quantities. But from our last query, we should have a pretty good idea how to tell SQL to match a row in the line item table with its associated product. We'll begin with select and the attributes we want to display. The first is product description. So, then we want a total. SQL has a variety of functions to help us to aggregate data, like the count function we used earlier. And the function we need this time is sum. So we enter sum and include in parentheses the name of the attribute we want to total. As always, we have to tell SQL where to find the data. In this case, it is in or from the product underscore T and order line underscore T tables. Because we're using data from two tables, we need to join these together on their common attributes, which in this case is product ID. As before, we'll use a where clause to do this. So we'll enter where order line underscore T product ID equals product underscore product ID. Now we have one part of the query remaining. In our select we ask SQL to compute a total of the ordered quantity values. But we don't want a total across all the line items. We want this done for each product description separately. In other words, we want SQL to group the line items by product description and give us a separate total for each. We do this with the clause group by. And again, we'll be grouping by the first column. Then when we click execute, we get our result. This will be our last example and the most complex of the ones we've done. The query is, who are all the customers who have bought any product called a computer desk? This query is asking us to link products to the customers who have bought them. But as we noted earlier, we don't have a direct relationship from product to customer. Don't worry. Rather, we can get from product to customer through line item to order and finally to customer. So now we also need the includes relationship and the foreign key of order ID from line item to order. And we'll need to limit our search to only products with a description of computer desk. Let's see what we need to do in SQL to accomplish this. The query asks for a very simple display. So our select clause is simply 
select customer name. Now, even though we are displaying data from only one table, the customer table, we realize we are interested in only certain products, those with a description of computer desks. So we'll need a WHERE clause of WHERE product description equals computer desk. Thus we need data from also the product table. In addition, as we discussed with the diagram of the database, we have to match a computer desk with the line items it's included on and then match each line item with its order and finally find the customer for that order. So we actually need all four tables to follow the relationship path from product to customer. Hence our from clause is going to include all four tables. And I'll explain these uh, symbols after the table names uh, in a moment. What I've included is called an alias with each table name. You'll see in a moment that this will save some typing as we write the rest of the query. What is left to do is the matching of tables which as before we do with WHERE clauses to join tables based upon their common attributes. We join each pair of tables and we'll just add another com com component to the WHERE clause we've already entered for each pair of tables we need to join. So let's start with product. See how I used the aliases so I didn't have to type in the whole table name? Then I'll continue with the other two joins. And then I'll execute this command. To find the customers who have bought computer desks. Now that you've seen some examples, you might want to test drive SQL assistant using this database yourself. Here's how. For faculty, go to teradatauniversitynetwork.com and for students, go to teradatastudentnetwork.com. On these home pages, look for SQL Assistant Trial under Quick Links or under the Software menu. There you'll use SQL Assistant with the sample Pine Valley Furniture database that we used in examples during this tutorial. Your user ID and password and connections to this database are done automatically for you. I hope you have found this Introduction to Databases tutorial useful. With these basics, you should be able to better understand topics about databases and their uses in organizations. Best wishes for your journey through exploring organizational databases.